two playing. There are no sets between them that jump out in my mind. So I'm curious to see how it's going to play out. We're going to have to look for sets. We're going to have to look no further as we see it right here and right now. And starting things off immediately to Smashville, this is still a matchup that we see fairly often here, thanks to Dill. Uh, Diddy Kong to Greninja. It's fairly even, but it's really all playstyle based, I would feel. And J Tails has a vastly different playstyle from Dill. So I'm curious to see how Benny is going to be responding to J Tails' style of Diddy Kong. Little bits of pressure here and there, just really bouts for stage control, really, and no one's really giving an inch. I like how Venia is making more use of the banana, trying to just keep it away from J-Tails, not even really using it himself. But Q combos are going to at least build up damage. That wasn't cute, that really meant something. That was a, enough of a chunk that J-Tails has to be the one to really approach now. And he is getting to danger zones. I like that aggressive forward air. You can see the back air start to come out from Venia. Just stopping that before it became a real problem. Uh, Diddy Kong dash attack. The best option because it's the option they never expect, obviously. <laughs> okay, there it is. Punish for the air dodge. j -Tail's losing his first stock. And now that we have the ledge play at hand, I feel like this is where j -Tail's, uh excels more. But you can't keep Benny at the ledge for long. He's rather slippery with his sprung. And He's a frog. I mean, Have you ever tried to grab a frog? Have you ever tried to keep a frog on the ledge? IRL. Uh, uh, no, because then the frog can slip away, and then the frog can get hurt. No. Oh, Don't keep frogs frog. at the ledge. <laughs> IRL. It's today's PSA. Although, uh, j -Tail's definitely looking to see if he can keep this frog at the ledge. He's got plenty of damage onto Venia, but he needs to end up with stock. Yeah, and that's one thing that Venia is so good at playing around. Those sort of kill options from... Diddy Kong, you know, he has those things at his disposal, but he ends up just closing it out with a a little bit more, like, blasé, just like back air with some stage positioning to close out the stock. I feel like that wasn't the right word, but I'm going to stand by it. I won't contest it just yet, so you're safe for now. Because you don't know what the word means? Blasé? Uh, <laughs> Meanwhile, in up airs, game one's going to go to Venia, and... I feel like it was more just Venia deciding where the match had to go, more so than just outright outplaying uh, J Tails. J Tails didn't have as much of an impact into that match as we normally see Diddy Kong could potentially have on the Greninja. The immediate strike of Twilight Cruise. Well, I don't feel like J Tails would have gone there anyways. Um, the idea of avoiding um, multiple platforms could be good. So, I could see the Town and City pick working out. I feel like that's more of a stereotypical setting for this. Um, don't want to see Battlefields, as that's always been a stage where uh, Venia performs well. I feel like we might just go to Smashville. But we're going to do so with Marth. Now, this is not something Ooh, I... Oh, All right, that was... There was a list of things I was expecting in the next, like two minutes. This was not one of them. I don't, I'm not very familiar with j Tells' Marth. I don't doubt he has one. Marth, very fundamentals based character, you know, all about spacing, all about conditioning, and he's such a smart, intelligent player that uh, I could definitely see him doing fine with this character, but picking FD, that's what I'm thinking about. Like, This is, gonna just love this stage. Venia definitely, uh, Probably happy that his opponent is taking him here. He's like, okay. Yeah, this is another stage that Venia performs well on, and with good reason, as this is a stage that rewards stage control, juggling, ledge pressure, all things that are not just good for Greninja, but also highlights of Venia's track record as a player. Also, footstool combos. They're not something that we've been seeing so much of. I feel like as Venia has grown, he actually has gravitated more towards like consistent play as opposed to going for really fancy stuff. But if he wants to go for it, if he feels like he's back into the corner to the point where he needs to make some kind of... Oh. Well, that's the first stop to getting trapped into the corner. How's that for Vintage Smash? It's been a while since we've seen a Greninja bonk. That... Sad. He didn't even bonk. He just, he, like, he, he just drifted right past it. He's like, I'm not grabbing the ledge He's so today. close to the ledge. He could have licked it. So close. So far. He's a slippery boy. He's... 
Faker. Slip, slip, slippery Faker. It's the hard. evidence shows Slippery Boy. Also, I'm amazed that that Raw Dolphin Slash was not punished. Saddened even. But nonetheless, it's allowed J Tails to put on a bit of percentage in the speed. <laughs> Where did like, that forward smash go? That, like, you all just like, not have your forward smash work? I'm sorry, is. I, I mean, I guess it physically makes sense because, like, the water swords, they're just gonna lightly brush someone, but, like, normally that move does something. I mean, water can be strong. Like, have yeah. you ever seen one of those, like, high PSI water jets they use to cut things? Is that how heavy water is? Like, you ever carry buckets of water? The water kind of mass to Water kind of OD. Oh, well, Devin, did you have any comment about the OD ness of water? Please, chime in. No, I was just gonna say that's not what heavy water is. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I, <laughs> it's like a whole other world. Uh, yeah, that's a yeah. different type. Shout outs to Manhattan Project. Being better. Anyway, history, guys. Anyway, um <laughs> Where we last left off, Jay Tails was using a whole lot of forward air and Marth looking a lot more reminiscent to uh, Mr. E's Marth in being able to at least keep up the pace with the pressure. And with the percentage just being at a dead even, I feel like this very well could go to a game three the way that J Tails has been uh, managing to outperform uh, Benny right here. Okay. <laughs> nice job there, just picking up some extra damage with the up B. Forward air still not enough. And these guys, this is the last hit situ. Never mind. Okay. Is what I would say. Cool. <laughs> Shake the hands, bow the heads. And with respect, Benny is going to move on with a solid two over J-Tails. And with that, I'm going to step off for a little bit. Oh, you're stepping off? I'm going to step off. You're stepping off. We're okay. going we're gonna to chill a little. We're going to chill a little for the house. All right, and I think he is going to be replaced by um, our dead man walking. <sighs> we're going to miss him.